Now that we've cut all of the pasta and all of the dough has gone through the pasta machine, it's time for us to dry the pasta. For drying, you wanna make sure that they're on a surface, the pasta, where it's going to dry and also something it's not going to stick to. Because our pasta is nice and sticky when it comes out of the machine, you wanna have it on a nice smooth surface in order to dry. So for these smaller pieces of pasta, I have them on a plate. If you have larger pieces, you can have them on a plate or depending on how long the pieces are, you might wanna have them on something else. One thing that's recommended is drying things on a towel. You wanna to make sure it's a nice clean dish towel that does not lint, otherwise you're going to end up with lint all over your pasta. Unless you're absolutely sure that your towel is not going to leave lint pieces behind, I would also recommend using wax paper. This could even be the same wax paper that you kneaded your dough out onto. You can see I've got the dyes drying nearby as well. You just wanna make sure that it's something for your pasta to be able to be stretched out flat on in order to have a full drying surface. You're going to let the pasta dry here for about an hour, maybe a little bit more. You wanna make sure that it is nice and stiff. You can see this is still very soft. So you wanna make sure it's stiff like the pasta um, that you would get in the refrigerated section of the grocery store. It's not gonna be dried completely you just want it to not be the sticky texture. So let's let it dry and we'll come back to it later.